In this video, I'm going to be taking you along with me to the agriculture show. It's going to be so much fun! So grab your fruit and stay tuned. Answer a survey. I have to answer a survey? Yeah. Would you okay. like to participate? Okay. Am I answering a question about. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh uh, yeah, of course you have to have data. Mm. So, <coughs> so with, and this is how to show you know the whole technology we are using. And, mm. So, <coughs> wow. So right now you're gonna refresh the information and then you're gonna get the data. What did you uh, did you study at the university? In Belize? Uh, Guatemala. No, no, in the north. In the north, Corzal. Like we come from Corzal. See there. Coconut? Where? Here, in the Caribbean in general, but in Belize would be... Um, well, in Belize, like the, the culture, where we have the sugar, sugar uh, the, coconut, the sugar cane, coconuts, no? we have the coconuts, uh -huh. we have the oranges, yeah. well, but the citrus, right, in the, yeah. in the south, mm -hmm. um, like many more. Can I record? Of course. Yeah. 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 yeah, of course, we have to have it here because we know the live data. So, but this is really nice how we're gonna, we are using this one. But all of this stuff, the main crops are in Coruscant? Yes. Oh, wow. This is good. This is exciting. I like stuff like this. Yeah. I like to know how the food is being produced. Yeah. But in, in school, are they, is it agronomy that people are taking as a course? Yeah, study? you have to be agronomy to, to know about their culture, and, and especially not, not, well, especially in sugarcane. 
-hmm. Because agronomy is like general, right? Mm -hmm. in, in, in but they specialize in a particular crop? Sugar cane, yeah. What about peanuts? Well, That's pe much a big one? Not too much. It's, it's their, their, their diversifications for farmers in, in art. We don't really grow like, like in bulk. Mm -hmm. Just some. Then into the wow, that's what it looks like for it yeah. when it comes out. When it comes out of this, is it still moist, right? Yes, it is. And then you they add still. Wow, it smells, it smells fresh. Yeah, um, so it comes out through this skin shredder mm -hmm. into the five mil tandems, um, and then it goes, it extracts all the juice. Um, and what they need is this one, first express juice. So this is how... Are they going to dry that to powder? No. It, you're, yes, they're going to dry. They're going to evaporate all the water. So mm. once it passes through here, then it goes into the clarification tanks. Mm. And then into the evaporators to evaporate. So once, once it evaporates, what you get is the syrup. Mm. And the syrup looks like this. And then it continues cooking in here, mm. and then you have. So this whole time it's being cooked. No, it cooks here. Oh, it cooks here. Okay. There it clarifies the juice. They clarify the juice, and then it cooks here, mm -hmm. and then it cooks in this one to get it from here to here. Is this like thick? Yes. Wow. The, this is this is evaporated. This Mas is the masquit. Masquit. Mm -hmm. And then um, they start to crystallize in those tanks to get it like this. So would this be considered um turbinado sugar? This you is You know how to say turbinado like there's brown sugar and some is white brown. with molasses and then some is just dried. Okay, this is um brown sugar. Brown. Uh -huh. But it's not with it's not with the molasses added to it, no? Yes. Do we have we, we make those two. So the raw sugar is just simple but um, we also do another process with, with um with the other sugars. Um, depending on on what we want. Mm -hmm. um, so we end up this with... This is all product of Belize? Yes. Uh, all these here are, are, are products of Belize. Yeah. So this was that white one, right? The common use of caracom... This one is brown sugar. Mm -hmm. And then this is our plantation white wheat product. Oh, so that's okay. semi-refined. Well, refined. Oh, okay. um, yes. And then this is the one we sell in caracom. Demerara is shipped to the UK and then they repackage like this. Mm. For the... For the... That yeah, particular market, eh? Yeah. And then this one, local brown, is the one we use here in Belize. Um, the Merara and Caricom and Canadian, they add molasses. These are the ones that are added, with, added more molasses in it. This one is a special sugar that we um, use, that the can Canadian people use in, in confectionery, um, like cakes, decorations, and things like that. So these, in the market, do you find this one here? The local, the bulk raw? No? The, the bulk raw, no, because you can't eat this. 
Wow. Those are shipped um, to the UK to make all those other products. Wow. Um, so this so is the raw, raw materials. That's the raw material. <laughs> that's that's not food grade. All the others are food grade. So you can find this one. You can find safety. Um, it's What's the that most people would like it because it's raw? It's because.
soil.
or cabbage? Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Cabbage. And what's this? Hot pepper? Hot pepper. Which one is sweet corn? This one. This one grows uh, tender or the one that's hard? No, tender. This all coming from Central Farm? Is this melon or squash? Uh, and string beans. This is string beans? Yeah, this is string beans. At the beginning of it looks like a uh -huh. squash. Yeah, but this is the how it looks afterwards. So you have to put it on a pole, right? Uh-huh. launching this year no go safe yeah so not so much pesticides in the food yeah yeah but a lot of because we know that you can decide using
Oh, see, now, now I'm sad. No, you gotta encourage women to farm. At least because you know that our culture is more money and also it's hard working as well. What the end of the day, you know, it's making that money for yourself. Have you ever heard of this woman named Wangari Matai? Have you ever heard of her? No. Look her up. She won a Nobel Peace Prize from Kenya. She went back to um, Africa. <laughs>
to see it so it takes quite a amount of time. It's not like the grafted. The grafted is like three and a half to four years. These are a little bit five, six years. Mm. These are not grafted? This one. The one grafted is mine. So if we plant this, that will grow in one. Yeah, mulberry too. I mean, it'll Yeah, fruit. Right. Yeah, fruit like three and a half to four years. Okay. Oh, I'm to end Okay. So you want you want to give me those three? Oh, you have jackfruit too. Jackfruit. Okay, I just gotta find where I can go. So at least I have your number, so I. Yeah, you can contact us. Okay. All right. Thank you. Then. Thank you.
move that thing, but don't get yellow. You don't move that thing. Watch where you may have it. Okay. Okay. Everybody can grow something.